Hey guys, this is Jasmine. So today in the video, it's going to be all about my new chinchillas named Parthenia and Artemis. Sadly, Luna did pass away about a month and a half ago. I don't know, but I got the girls within three weeks of losing her. I was really at peace with the fact that I lost Luna because she was suffering and I didn't want her to be in pain anymore. But now I have two new girls named Parthenia and Artemis. They are four and a half months old. They are brown velvet and a standard gray. And pretty much this video is just their first playtime. First time out of cage. Yay. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, wait. Mm. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> bye. Hi guys, so pretty much what we are going to be watching today is my girls just playing in my bathroom. This is their first time out of cage play. Um, we've really been working on socializing them, but I don't really want to give them as much playtime as I would normally give them. Simply because of the fact that um, they are so little and they do still have lots of growing to do. Like, if you see right now Parthenia, she's a lot smaller than Artemis is, whereas Artemis is thickening up really well. Parthenia was born a smaller chinchilla anyways, but still. She rec- my breeder. She recommended for me not to, uh, give them so much playtime in the beginning because they do need to put on lots of pounds and, and grow a lot. They don't need to be losing a lot of weight, which is why I as well took the wheel out of their cage. I... I'm so excited to have these girls. I think they are so amazing and adorable. I honestly can't wait to watch them grow. And since they are babies, I'm going to have them for years and years and years. With what happened to Luna, it was tragic because first, she was a pet star chinchilla. Second off, she had two owners before me who did not give her proper treatment and nutrition. That's why I am starting the Chinchilla series to help people understand what you need to have in order to have healthy and beautiful chinchillas. Well, beautiful, you know. Most of them are beautiful anyways. But to have even more great, like, time with your chinchillas. Luna's previous owners had um, this called thing called Fiesta Mix or something like that. It says it's safe for chinchillas. It's not safe for chinchillas. Uh, when I learned that it wasn't safe, I ditched it so quick, and I went and bought hay and pellets. Right now I'm using Missouri pellets and, um, just whatever brand of hay that my breeder gave to me. Sorry if you can hear stuff in the background, you know, just whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm using Missouri pellets. I recommend those. My girls eat them up, I swear. I put it in the food dish, and then bam. They just got it all over again. It is nuts. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Honestly, I've heard of chinchillas being picky, but none of my chinchillas have been picky with hay. There's some chinchillas that will be picky about what type of hay and pellet they like. And honestly, people say that having hay cubes instead of actual hay is okay. But back molars is what had Luna have to be put to rest because she didn't get hay and she just had treats and food. Like, treats were her food. She wouldn't eat the pellets. She would just eat the treats. So, honestly, having the correct nutritional diet for your chinchilla is like the first stepping stone to having a healthy chinchilla. Pet store chinchillas often have genetic problems because they're not bred for quality, they're bred for quantity. So that's why I went with breeder chinchillas, because it was heartbreaking to lose Luna and I never want to do that again. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce to you guys the um, series that I'm introducing about chinchillas. I'm going to start making my own wood things. I have fleece things on the way from Chin Chick. I love Chin Chick. She's so good, so amazing. I will link her down below. Honestly, I have big things coming for the Chinchilla series that I'm so excited to do. Because nobody really know you don't know what to do with that pet. Like having an exotic is completely different from having a dog. Like a dog you just feed it some give it some water, you know, take it to the vet. But exotics 
small animals, say chinchillas, guinea pigs, degus, any of those things, those, oh my gosh, they're totally different. It's crazy that, honestly, I never knew I was going to get into chinchillas. I brought Luna home, and it was like a whole nother world for me. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to let you guys finish watching the girls play, and yeah. Um, welcome to the new chinchilla series we're starting. <laughs> Bye, guys.